What is going on guys and welcome back to another video on my channel and I hope my mic is actually working. So today we are doing another can we beat the pole but on the F123 game with the realistic cast. So this is gonna be the challenge. We are gonna see how close we can get. I believe the lap times will be very very easy to beat. As you can already see the world record is not that far off. Quite a lot off with the equal cast from the realistic time which is a 33.660 from Max Verstappen and we are trying to beat that with the Haas today. No setup of course. Default everything stock and let's see if we can do it I think we can already do it on the first drive I don't think this is gonna be any any difficulty for us but we will find out let's go for our first flying lap let's see what we can do with the default setup and um, yeah hopefully we can get close hopefully we can give Max a little challenge here I do think it will not be a challenge so oh my god okay this is not as understeer as I thought I mean it's a Haas but I thought we would just steer off. And there's also a decent amount of crib on the exit, even with 50 diff. That seems to be a, a pretty easy task for us here. But okay, um, let's talk about qualifying while it's going for the slap. Qualifying Max on pole again, Lewis Shocker in P18, Jogan Yu unfortunately out already in Q1, I think he was P16. Um, Valtteri Bottas P10, I think. Very solid. Uh, then Ricardo out-qualified Yuki again. Yuki said after his lap, this can't be not through. It was a good lap. I can't be P19 or whatever he was. So, yeah, frustration on the U Yuki camp. Um, been an interesting one, not gonna lie. But I enjoyed it and the sprint has been amazing too. Lando fumbled, Lewis hold on for P1 for a bit and he even said like he wasn't used to this anymore but he enjoyed every single bit of it. Alonso and Lewis both class. Uh, Paris secured P3 in the end. Um, that was a bit of a Ferrari train end. Yeah, okay, there we go. 33-0 and I was talking. I was, that was a bad lap. So our challenge is going to be that we are trying to make this as hard as possible. So we are going to use the understeerious thing ever. Zero. Well, that's not the understeerious, but we are going for zero, zero wing. Zero 50 would be impossible, I think. But we're going for zero, zero wings. And I think we're going to up the brake bias for quite a bit. So we even understeer while it's locking up. On the sprint, amazing battle between Sainz, Alonso, Perez, Leclerc. Also contact between the Ferrari drivers. It's just a happen right there. It has been a good day so far for F1, a good weekend. Qualifying for the sprint was a shocker, sprint was good, and then qualifying was kind of getting back to it. But we still had a few surprises like Lewis. I think that was a good, good um, showing for Formula 1 in Shanghai after a few years. It's actually one of my favorite circuits I had. We're going on 60 brake bias, in case you couldn't tell. Um, no, I thought I was streaming and not recording. That would have been a fail. Um, but, yeah. What did I want to say? Yeah, it has been a good day. And this was one of my best tracks in Formula 1 eSports by far. I was the only driver in... Oh my god, yeah, 60 is awful in F1 eSports history. That finished on the podium every single time when we raced at China. No other driver did that, so yeah, this is my stat, my track. I never secured a win, unfortunately. Was very close in 2020, very close in 2021. Then it wasn't on the calendar anymore. But I... A bit unfortunate. I think this is already a bit trickier. Yeah, 4.1. But we are gaining so much on the straight, that's nuts. Can't wait to go straight. Oh, a 60 brake bias and this overspeed is really challenging. So this is definitely going to be much slower than Max's lap time. We were uh, 33 series and we already beat it with the default. This is 9 times off. Okay, let's focus a little bit and see what we can do. If we use the 60... Break bias if we can make something happen here otherwise we're going down by one click every single time when we fail until we actually get close to it but it's already looked pretty neat it's just the understeer we when we tray break 
You usually want this like rotation when sliding on the F1 game. Now we can't get that. Obviously, because there's no way that we lock the rears, even though we are on zero zero wings. This is what I imagine it has to feel like when it's a terrible season for the American based team. Under theory, a bit snappy occasionally. I really wonder if Lewis Hamilton would drive in the 2020 Haas, what would he say? And how much would he struggle compared to the 2020 Mercedes? Like, seeing the best team on the grid against the kind of worst team on the grid, I think that would be quite, quite fascinating to see the difference. Oh no, we are going straight! Was actually a fairly solid lap until the last two corners. Uh, this is definitely off again, but... Ah! Close. We're getting closer. Six times to go. And then we definitely beat Max. We don't want to equal him, we want to beat him, okay? This is the challenge. Beating Max for something, not equaling. Crazy, you can still accelerate in third gear there. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna start and use lower gears for the house. Maybe it's actually helpful. Here yeah, you need to shorten. That is one of the weirdest corners, because if you accelerate fully in third, and then you upshift mid-corner, and not before you hit the second right. There's usually a little bit of a weight transfer from hitting the gears. And you just suddenly get a snap. And that's what you want to avoid at all costs. And it was in every single F1 game. If you didn't do the short shift initially, bye bye. See yourself in the river, even though there is none. Second, come on. Would like to cross into the 33s already. This is definitely doable with the 00 wings and oh, close. A little improvement, not much. I think it's gonna be tough with the 60. Turn one is one of the strangest corners. You always feel like your inputs are not good enough because you're like kind of going on and off and on and off the brakes. Well, you're usually quite progressive in a normal braking zone, but because it's quite bumpy and such a long corner where you understeer naturally, it is not an easy one. And now heading through the S section, back into that, I will show you now with the third gear. Okay, we actually had too much understeer and wheel spin, so we couldn't show you. It's difficult, maybe on the Haas, but. On a normal equal car, it's quite easy to get the rear kicking out there and unsettle the car if you don't do the perfect gear shift. And now let's see, we have at 3.9 tenths at the highest out of this corner. What are we what do we have at the end of the straight? How many tenths do we gain? 3.5, 3.4, 3.3. So it's a total of six tenths gained. And then we are losing nearly all of it again. In the braking. Okay. I think it was a slower lap. Yep. Okay. Focus now. So you want to stay tight on F1 game. You don't want to go too wide. If you can stay, uh, stay as tight as possible, you will always be the fastest. Slower sector one. The sector one before was really good on the previous lap. I think seventh gear is nicer. Probably six, uh, sixth gear is faster, but it just sounds more natural. 
We don't want any wheel spin again. Not too much understeer through this section this time. We braked a bit more early. Oh, couldn't get the power down. It's actually a worse lap so far. I'm very surprised. We're making backwards progress. It's not what we want to see. No, terrible. Okay, this is the lap. If it's not a 33, we are switching a 60 brake bite because this is getting ridiculously hard. And another really poor sector one. Then it was our best happen there, even though we turned in super early. Oh, nearly spun out. You know, braking here is a big issue because of 60 brake wise. Here as well, you can see the understeer. That's not from the wings. That's solely from the stupid brake wise. Very annoying. Okay, this is better. A two tenth improvement. That actually could potentially, I think it's more like a zero, but it could turn into a 33.9. Nope. Threw it all away. Threw it all away in one corner. Yeah, I'm so terrible, man. Okay, this is the one. Maybe straight breaking, but less breaking, like less straight breaking. He says it and does the opposite. Idiot. It's another pull up. Okay, I'm really, really struggling. We're just a ten faster than on our um, laps before out of this corner, but we need to hit the braking right. That's a good one. And here's the point eight. The point six is maybe doable. Ah, not a quick one, but it's okay. Solid. Okay, I need my AC. 59 or it's done. This is this is too hard at the moment. It's at least too painful. I don't have the time for it. I still need to do an Instagram reel. I still need to edit. We're trying 59. Maybe it makes already a big difference. He 
never want to touch these curbs as they just push you wide. But we are actually improving quite a bit. That's our best first sector. Yeah, nice. Uh, it isn't so much faster. Already by one click. You have so much less understeer. You can actually trade break a little bit. Let's keep it in fourth. Probably faster and this looks pretty, pretty good. I think. I do believe this is the one. We have three attempts up and we had a 0.7 coming out there with the 899. If we don't look up now, this is the one. I break early, but not efficient. We are still up on our time. Not a lot of wheel spin, come on, push down to the line and it's a 33, 594, there we go guys. This was intense. So the 60 brake bites made such a big difference. I cannot believe that. That's actually insane. I'm sweating. My AC is uh, slowly starting to work again. I hope you have a lovely day and um, I think this will probably come live after the race. So I hope you had also an amazing, amazing race day. So yes. Anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in. Have a good one. You're Marcel. See you in the next one. Also, check out my Instagram. Please leave a follow. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Leave a comment. See you in the next one. Peace.